As any parent can tell you, even on the best day, raising a family can be a challenge. Amber Fister and I recently had the chance to sit down with author and mom, Donna Tatro, to discuss her new book, The Castle Method, which debuted last week as number one on Amazon. It's <laughs> good to see you. Welcome it's, back. Thank yeah. you. It's good to see both of you. Yeah, same. <laughs> well, congratulations on the book. And please thank tell you. us what The Castle Method is. Yeah. So The Castle Method is a book that I developed. And it's a foundational book that I worked with so many experts for so many years, over 10 years, about how to build the best family foundation. And what I came up with were these foundational building blocks. And The Castle Method, Castle is an acronym for a metaphor, castle, to build the castle, the family of your dreams. Not the perfect family, but the best version of your family. And you can do that by using compassion, acceptance, security, trust, love, expectations, and education. And this metaphor is really evidence-based so we know from research that yeah. this works and what we want to do is we want to build this foundation early on and inside of this book is a lot of mental health proactive mental health strategies to get into your family this is different in that I really want parents to take care of parent first I'm teaching in this book how to reparent if you need to when I talk about compassion the first component it's about giving compassion to our children but giving compassion to ourselves as parents first. We need to model this compassion, and then that will then lead to our children having compassion for themselves. And I want people to understand that we can do this early in life with our children, with your tiny little girl, yeah. too. You can start this foundational work early on, and you can build that foundation that we all really need. And Donna, I can only imagine you're not telling us to try anything you haven't tried yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at home with you with your boys how you yeah know. so I have two boys 13 and 14 years old and we know out there right now is toxic masculinity yep. we know what's going on our boys are not allowed to feel their feelings and this leads to issues later in life between teen years and and to adulthood and into marriages right mm -hmm. so the castle method, the S in that is security. And I'm not just talking about physical security, I'm talking about emotional security. So I'm really teaching my boys how to feel their feelings, how to feel and express their feelings. Mm -hmm. And they're okay if they can cry, it's okay to cry, right? right? But we're not giving this to our kids, to our boys in society. So we need to do this inside the home and give and build that emotional security. Yeah, and how can you do something like that? Is it just like if one of your boys, if they're coming home, they're feeling an emotion, do you say like, it's okay to out. cry? Or is it like, let's sit down and talk about yeah. it? Absolutely, you're right. right there. We're talking about it. We're not just dismissing feelings. When a child says they're sad or they're upset, we're not saying, oh, it's okay, don't worry about it. Because we want to make them feel better, right? It's counterproductive. We need to sit down and we need to say, why are you feeling like that? What happened? Yeah. Tell me what the story is and really sit down. Take that phone away from yourself, the phone away from the child, and really sit down. We need to put more time into our parenting practices, not just brushing things off. Because as we're brushing things off, our kids are not developing these emotional things mm -hmm. and acceptance and trust. And we need to build that into our parenting. Okay, what can you do right now? Yeah. Besides buy your book. <laughs> What can we do right now to make sure yeah. our kids are mentally healthy, happy? I love that question. And yeah. honestly, like I said, the theme of mental health runs throughout. So there are strategy, strategies that we can do. And so what we need to do is we need to talk. We need to listen. We need to be flexible in our thinking. Parents sometimes feel like you have to say, it's this way, follow my directions, and this. No, we need our kids to have a voice. We need to allow them to feel what they're feeling. We need to give them the ability to trust themselves, their inner beings, yeah. and um, just allow them to grow into the person they're supposed to be, not who we think they should be. Huh? I like that. That was good advice. <laughs> My little toddler who's having multiple tantrums. Uh, thank you so much for being of here. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you, Donna. <laughs>